Nandler, uh, you are an Eastern liberal uh, and proud of it. Uh, you didn't like this very much. Uh, you heard what uh, Mr. Axelrod said. He looks like uh, he thinks what's going to be voted on is about what they put forward. He doesn't see any changes coming. Are House uh, Democrats going to go for this? Well, we uh, passed the resolution in our caucus the other day saying that we would not permit uh, this deal to come to the floor without some changes. How major those changes would be to would have to be to uh, for, for members of our caucus to let it come to the floor, I don't know. I certainly hope that there are very major changes in this. Well, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with it? Three, uh, three, and, and looking at it from the long term, there are really three major problems that I see with this. Firstly, the... Uh, uh, the Republican blackmail here, they're really saying like a bunch of gangsters, that's a nice middle class tax cut you got over there, uh, pity if something would happen to it, and unless you give the millionaires and the billionaires a long term tax cut, we're not going to permit the middle class uh, to get its, uh, uh, to continue its tax cut. But that millionaires and billionaires tax cut will cost $700 billion added to the deficit over the next 10 years, which we can't afford. Now I know that this is a, a two year extension. But if we succumb to that blackmail now, when both the middle class and the upper end tax cuts expire in two years in the middle of a presidential election, why would I expect that the president and the Congress would then have the political uh, uh, gumption not to submit again to the Republican blackmail and in effect permanentize this? So I believe that voting for this now may be to permanentize these upper end tax cuts at $700 billion a decade which would be the culmination of a 30-year Republican plan to starve the beast, to, to, uh, to create deliberately such massive tax cuts that we're going to have to do what they really want, which is to cut Social Security and cut Medicare, cut aid to education, right. housing, and everything else. Let me, Second, let me, let me just stop you right there, because that's going to be a very long answer, and we'll get back to the rest of it. But what I'm asking you is, would you be willing to let everyone's taxes go up in order to stop uh, that uh, extending those tax rates for the upper income people. I don't think that's the alternative. I think the alternative is to say we're not going to submit to that blackmail and let the president and the Democrats go to the people the, who the polls show want the upper end tax cuts uh, not to continue but want the middle class tax cuts and say don't submit to the blackmail. I, I believe that if we conducted a campaign like that for a couple of weeks or a few weeks or some time period, we'd win that and that's got to be done. All right. Let me go to uh, Howard Dean. Uh,